Hello, I am Kim Miller from Women at the Well Ministries, and I want to say thank you for spending the next few moments with me as we go over the angel gram entitled Perfect Love. Our scripture today comes from 1 John 4.12 and reads as this, No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. It opens as this. The forecast for today is sunny and warm. It is sunny because God's light is shining brightly from within your heart and soul. It is warm because his love surrounds you and keeps you warm and tender in his care. So plan your day accordingly and get moving. God has great things in store for you on this day that he has made. Rejoice and be glad in this day. Enjoy his marvelous creations. Watch the insects and bugs as they scurry about in God's nature. Yes, they are small, but they have a work to do for God, and you can rest assured they are doing it. Get busy. You don't want to be shown up by a bug. Have a great day. Our scripture today is 1 John 4.12, and it reads as this. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. God does not make himself physically visible to man. He requires you to use your eyes of faith to see him work and move in your life and in the lives of others. There are demonstrations of his existence and mounds and mounds of proof. One such proof is found in your love for others. When the love of Christ fills your heart and soul, then it will flow through you to others. God dwells in you. His love works in your heart and causes you to do good deeds and to show love to others. You are the home for the Almighty God. Shouldn't your actions demonstrate who lives in you? You are capable of loving because he loves you and puts that love in your hearts and allows you to demonstrate it. Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. John 15, 13. God was and is your example of love. Christ died for you because he loved you. It was not nails that held him to the cross. It was love. That same love dwells in you and compels you to show it to others. Yes, you are to be Christ-like, and your actions should prove that the God of love is alive and well in your heart. Our angel to angel chat, no greater lesson will God ever teach you than the lesson of love. Your whole life has molded you to prepare you for the great work of loving others. True love loves like he loves, selflessly, and sacrificially. True love puts the needs, cares, wants, and glory of another in front of your own. What may seem like an awesome task will become the joy of your life. Love is its greatest reward. Learn early the joy of loving. Without mastering the lesson of godly loving, you cannot reach your potential for God's service. He obviously has a heart for people and he requires the same of his friends. Love him. It is the greatest joy on earth. You are truly blessed. He not only loves you so much that he will be your friend, he'll make you into what he would have you be. He also gives you friends to share these godly adventures and to travel with you through your journey of life. Remember, God loves you. You are loved. Our key thought? God's love is pure, true, and everlasting. Thank you.